Hey, hello, hi, bonjour. Welcome once again to What's the Damage? Companion show to the incredibly well-known and popular real play D&D show, Roll for Damage. Buy one, roll for damage and get 40% off. And speaking of sales, we're not actually having one, but we do have a yeah. store. You should check it out because we have some cool shirts. Um, that's our commercial for the day. We're sponsored by ourselves. Anyway, um, so last Friday we had a very exciting episode. Our heroes, the Shields of Twilight, returned their wayward drug dealing noble to his parents and managed to get paid and avoid being officially named Dobby and Fall Investigations, um, which I'm sad about, but I don't think they're sad about. And then there was a hack fight. Yeah. Oh boy, there was a hack fight. Um, there were lots of hacks. There was lots of fights. Um, there was a cauldron, there was a really cool map. Uh, eventually they triumphed over these hags um, and then were bested by a locked box. And as we left them, they were setting off to find the key, um, I believe. And we'll be talking about all of that right now. Then in the second leg of our show today, we'll be talking about puzzles. Love them, hate them, tear your hair out over them. They're an important part of the D, D ecosystem, and we'll be exploring them at length. As always, stick around after the stream for links and resources. I'm your host, Truth Benson, and this is What's the Damage? Hi. Hello. What you doing? What? Yeah, we're in. Are we in? You didn't say we're in. <laughs> I, can't, I did <laughs> not hear you say we were in back in. Oh my god. Host. Okay. Your, 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 your volume cut like in my It everything. was way down. <laughs> okay. Hi, hi, we're back, apparently. Um, this is why I have to deal with the in my ear every single show, because Serenity's always here, always talking in the background, <laughs> distracting us. But she's here on screen today. Welcome to our secret DM, Serenity, whose mic went out at an inopportune moment. Welcome to Khalil, who plays Baltaim, our favorite warlock, and to Jake, who plays Oriana, the best bard in the world. Hey, guys. Hi. You guys fought oh, a hag coven and survived what's the damage big fight okay um fought is a lenient and nice word by our host we uh we, we did well two out of three yeah, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Really, yeah. Not, did well. not complete the, the blood loss is not satiated oh, well. no she didn't say we killed all three yeah okay. we fought all three we and fall all three. nobody went down i think not right? not all completed though nobody went down yeah no one went down, down. First time in a long time. Oh, I'll just have to get better at making <laughs> well. Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't a challenge. Four more challenge. Like, oh, okay, just add four harder. more covens. Not hags, covens. That's right. <clears throat> no, it was good. It was a uh, fight. Uh, mm -hmm. Very uh, movement, hiding, very uh, like using of the appropriate surroundings uh, from everyone. I felt everyone kind of, you know, did what they, you know, could do to their best abilities and like make use of their talents and like kind of this is probably the the best fight as like a ta as a team like collectively we've had I, I feel 
I don't know if anyone agrees awesome. with that, but that's how I feel. Okay, cool beans. Yes, yeah, so you had that exciting fight, but before that, you had a couple of things you did first, including um, getting Callahan back to his parents and trying to scare this kid straight. Uh, why are you guys so determined to like have this kid just not sell drugs anymore? Like, I like he's an adult. <laughs> I wasn't even wants. that disturbed to do that. I was just like, is this like, I was just kind of trying to ask him, like, is this what you want to do? He's like, if mm -hmm. he was like, yeah, I'm like, okay, then you should probably like cool. do the right things and not get fucking, beat, get your ass beat all the time. But like, if you don't want to do this, <clears> then you should probably <throat> get your, you know, your shit together. Everyone's like, stop it. Like, did you learn your <laughs> lesson? And Baltine's just like, I mean, if that's what he wants to do, whatever, I guess. But, but I guess if that's, he doesn't want to do that, that's cool too. To be fair, if I remember correctly, Dobby was trying to do most of the scared straight stuff. And I think he was doing that so that he could, you know, get more moolah. Yes, but I think uh, I think Perry and Quinn were and uh, were legitimately telling like telling him like you probably like shouldn't be doing the hang out with these people, you know. They weren't like trying to scare him, but they were like, you know, they're trying to instill whatever wisdom they had to uh, offer, I felt. From watching it. Yeah, but they're goody goodies. Yeah. <laughs> they are the goody goodies of the group. So is Oriana, though. <clears throat> sort of. Yeah. Although she might be getting involved with the criminal element. We'll see what happens. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> She's going to join the Thieves Guild. Um, yeah. So I thought you guys weren't going to get paid for a second when Dobby was like trying to extort more money out of Callahan's parents. I was like, <laughs> they're going to kick you out. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I uh, I pondered the uh, <laughs> the uh, use of letting the people, uh, the person that's uh, on drugs and not the best talker. Uh, Y'all were lead, sober. Lead, <laughs> lead uh, <laughs> yeah, but they had two okay. exhaustion points at getting, that point. Yeah, more or off, less sober. Getting, getting off or our, one exhaustion. Off high. Yeah. yeah, getting off our high. Uh, letting that person uh, do negotiations, but. We'll see about that happens. So what happens about that in the future? They were, they were, I mean, I would have, it would have been a, like, if he had have done really well, uh, yeah. there put have, put have been, um, if he had have like not won it, it, it might've been less, mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> but he like, he just didn't, he just flubbed it. So it was just like, okay, he didn't yeah. do great, but you didn't do completely awful. So yeah. it was like, you'll get what you were originally assigned to get, but you're not going to get more than that. Yeah. Please <clears throat> fuck off now. Yeah, it was more like, okay, is it, well, I mean, I mean, the father turned to his son and was like, okay, like, what exactly, ha like, you're already in enough trouble, so you better, like, say what happened, and the son was like, yeah, they were gonna let me go, I'm glad that these people came by, but their 500 gold was not because of me, their 500 gold was a total, complete Something other, else. other yeah. thing. I, just, I, had I was gonna do. ask him more, but, you know, just like, oh, he says no, okay. Sad. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think I think we have probably a low chance of us getting more, especially when yeah, the sure. also but, vouch for the fact that he was going to be let go anyway. But it doesn't hurt to ask. It doesn't hurt to ask. Yeah, um, you know, depending on the, you know, again, yeah. things can always go multiple ways, and thankfully it just stayed the same. Yeah. <laughs> All about the risks. Yeah. The moral of the story is extort nobles if you can. Sometimes exactly. It work. That's, I'm glad that's what you got of the that's, that's, that's what I was awesome. trying to say. Yeah. So, Sereni, was this how you expected the party to like solve the Callahan part of this little subplot? Um, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I um I had so many different things. Like there was there was the opportunity to use the, the thieves guild, get in with them, and then they would have been able to get like their their. Well, I'm, I'm not going to get in. I'm not going to get mm -hmm. into what they would be able to do because they can. They still have the option of eventually talking to them at, at some point if they want to. Um, but using them, uh, there was the option of them like just literally going to the warehouse itself and like casing it and then sneaking in or persuading their way in through the guards. Um, there was the the drug dealer that they used. Um, <clears throat> What I didn't expect was um, the rest of the party to get lost. I didn't, I, I, I was like, they're, they're going to at least try to like follow closely behind or whatever so that they, they don't, and maybe they fail their, their stealth checks or whatever. Um, 
but like I didn't expect them to be like in a completely different play place. Um, and I didn't expect Dobby to just be like, yeah, we'll give you a thousand gold. I was like, yeah. oh, I man. honestly <laughs> had, that was, I was like, oh, okay. He's going to offer him like a couple like, hundred. Like, yeah. A couple hundred or 50 or something like that. Like I was ready to like play it on. Like, I didn't want to take their gold. Cause I was like, they're, how are they going to do this? So it's like, I, I, or I expected them to just chat around it and be like, Hey, like we have, we can we can screw you and like try to intimidate or something like that and maybe mm-hmm. eventually like e- what either it would work like the the talking would work and they would get their way or it would be it would turn into like a fight and they would have to they'd have to handle it um but i didn't expect the uh the thousand gold and then the i think the nat 20 on the history or the intelligence check of remembering they had lex and then i was like mm-hmm. Well, I do this to myself. Um, but yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting. It. it was yeah, it was a it was a it was an interesting uh, way to resolve it, and a one that I hadn't like. I had all of these points like written out, and I was like, "Here's what they can do, and here's what they can do, and here's what they can do." And that was like the one thing that I didn't cover, uh, which is always the case. Um, That's but it was the case. It, it was a great way to uh, it was a great way to to conclude it because uh, it was like totally unexpected. So, but that that favor will come back. No, no plan ever survives all the other first contact that with heard. with the party. With the enemy, yeah. Uh, the party's the enemy in this case. Yeah. Sad. I am pretty excited to see what Lex is going to make you do, like in the end game after everything else. You're just going to have like, like a series of impossible tasks. It's going to be, super petty, it's gonna be yeah. super petty shit. Like, okay, so get me petty. some coffee. Like, there'll be like a few that are like, oh no, actually, I need you to do this. Like, mm-hmm. for me, this is actually important. But then, like, I feel like one or one of them is going to be like, this is just me being petty. Like absolutely I'm, just me being petty. I'm calling it now. Dobby's uh-huh. gonna be a footstool. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. Oh, kinky. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, so got all that, you got your money, you got out. Um and then you went to go fight some hag. So I wanted to ask you, Jake. Um, Orion was kind of like it seemed like she was wanted to negotiate with the hags did she actually want to negotiate with the hags did she have a plan for that in particular or did she just was she just advocating for being a bit more sneaky going in um i think oriana's plan was more or less to kind of like test the waters Mm -hmm. in a way her plan wasn't necessarily good deal so that the hags can keep doing what they want to do and all that stuff because she's not okay with you know these hags invading people's dreams and potentially slowly killing them over the use of this drug um but her idea was to kind of get an idea of like okay well what's going on with this and just to kind of like almost like casing it Mm -hmm. and just either come back later that day with a plan in place or maybe coming back with like the town guard so that they could just you know bum rush in or something like that like her plan wasn't to actually persuade them more of just cleverly see if she can find out more about them and their operations gotcha okay well party elected not to do that we did have a hack fight we did have a hack fight Oh, that's, these poor, poor ladies. They're just trying to make a living. You know, it's hard out here for a hag. I would say, I would say, Baltine before being drugged and, you know, or taking drugs and like being mind look act and stuff. I mean, he would have. I ahead. love how. I love how neutral you play him. Uh, he's like, very straightforward. Oh, yeah, no, no. They're, they're taking drugs. They know the risks. Takes the drugs. Sees yeah. the risks. Oh, oh, no, we got to oh, stop. Oh, those are big now. risks. Yeah, I'm involved <laughs> in it. So now I, I, well, he was, I mean, even if, even if I'm saying if there was another, if he was like, oh, I can get this dealt with, 
he probably also wouldn't have cared either. He's like, okay. Like, but he's like, but it's been directly put in front of them uh, that Lex was like, oh no, this is probably what's doing this to you. He's like, okay, well, there's a solution to this. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Lex implied that there were other ways to take care of it. Just that killing them might she didn't, stop it but from she wasn't aware. Worse. I don't believe she said she wasn't aware of any other things so, or what we had. If higher level magics, I think she told Quinn. I oh yeah, she so. she yeah she t- well, yeah she said you probably can't do it. Right, and so that's his <laughs> like well, and it's immediate you know response. There's nothing we could really do. It seems so. Yeah, I think she said like it will probably cost you and and you're not going to be able to do it. And I, yeah. she didn't know if there was anyone in the city. Like she knows the right. magic required for it, but she doesn't, right. she's, she's not sure. But we don't, you know, out of, you know, in character, we don't know that. So mm-hmm. yeah. Okay, yeah. Well. But, but again, she, it wasn't, she wasn't like withholding information. It's just, she's right. not like, she's a been werewolf. to the city yeah. before, but she doesn't know everyone there. And she doesn't know right. like that, yeah. you know, like greater restoration is a, a pretty high level spell. Right. And, um, you know, yeah. so that requires someone who's like level not like level nine in a class aspect, um, which is pr- a pretty high level. Like not many yeah. people get get to that. Um, and so she wouldn't know, like beyond the emperor, who might be able to give And the chances give you that. of us, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, she's not gonna be like, oh yeah, sure, go like send my name, go talk to the emperor. Like she's, yeah. she's not going to do that. She gave us the she, thing already, that we could, she already we did everything else for you. At this point, you're on your own, you know, she already, yeah. she already got your, one of your friends resurrected at another yeah. temple. She, she gave us the option that was within our reach of. Our exactly. It was like, go deal with this. And then at least you can stop the hemorrhaging. Right. And then you can figure out after that, how to like fully close the right. wound. Yeah. Kill hags is nice, straightforward party oriented solution to a problem. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so first, that map looked super duper cool. And um, Serenity, could you tell us a bit about designing this combat? Um, well, I already had the idea of what the end consequence of this Sanguine Dreams was, which was, I was like, okay, it's going to be a night hag. And then I was like, well, if it's just a night hag, um, they're too high level for that as a party of six. So I was like, okay, well, it'll be a coven um, uh, and it should be like a uh, an interesting fight. And then I also wanted to make it so that like hags are very intelligent. Um, they're intelligent creatures. So I was like, well, it's not going to be a like, you know, knock down, drag out fight where they just run up to each other and wail on each other. Like they're going to try and use the environment to the best of their abilities. Uh, and I was like, okay, but if I do that, I have to give... The group the opportunity to do the same thing and so um and so that's why it was kind of laid out i was the one thing i was a little disappointed that i didn't get a chance to do but the party was really really smart is no mm-hmm. one kind of like lined themselves up on the bridge um i i wanted to use like a thunder wave and try to knock someone into uh-huh. the acid, yeah. which would really i avoid bad. that oh, no. shit like the plague i avoid yeah. that shit like the plague but <laughs> they were really smart and they made sure like they got across like fully and were not in in the in the way of, of doing it which is like hey my players are learning so like this is this is good it, it allows me to play uh it allows me to play uh villains uh a little more um intelligently tactically and, and, yeah. yeah tactically and that's what they did you know like she you know, the night hag like went prone behind the, the thing so no one could hit her and uh, and that kind of stuff. So, yeah, it was a fun fight. I'm I'm glad that it was uh, exciting. I'm glad that it wasn't so hard that I was worried that anyone was going to die. There is the obviously always the potential that like they did really well on their deck saves for those lightning bolts. Um, and so, you know, they didn't take as much damage as they could. Um, and so it ended up working out in their favor, uh, and they ended up just doing a lot of damage. I'd say like the one area where they kind of lost it a little bit was at the end, they kind of decided to go for the the green hag, I think, or no, the Annis hag, someone, one of the last two hags that was up rather than the night hag, which kind of seemed like the night hag was the one that was slinging most of the spells, um, and was kind of a leader. And so that gave her the opportunity because you kind of like with a night hag, once you get her down to a, a certain level of HP, she's going to go ethereal mm-hmm. and then fuck off. Um, and so they unfortunately just got her to a point where she was like half health or she was like 20 HP, but they, they weren't able to like full, fully finish it. And she was able to get her turn around and yeah. then plane shift out. So, mm-hmm. well, there was that. And there was also the like I think the Anis Hag, we kind of all like everyone basically like whiffed a turn like trying to kill the Anis Hag on that last <laughs> round. 
Yeah. So that kind of distracted from that too. And then yeah, the hag was just the hag, night hag was just really smart. He like let her other hags just fucking fucking face fight us. And like usually in a party of six, you're not gonna win a face fight, like face to face fight to something of a party of six, yeah. you know, characters of level five. And she was like, no, I'm gonna move around. I'm gonna let them fucking face fight them. And I'm gonna just fucking, like when I can, mm -hmm. fighting bolt and, you know, do whatever I can. And then when I am not in the shit, fucking duck around, hide around shit, but not be seen or anything. So it's kind of, kind of a, 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 you know, kind of luck of the draw and kind of a missed tactics on uh, the hags we were kind of focused on too, yeah. And to be fair, Baltaim tried to counterspell it because all yeah, we knew I, yeah. was that they could shift through planes, which right. we assumed to be magic. Yeah. We didn't know that they had the natural ability to go mm -hmm. to the ethereal plane yeah. without any kind of contest. So, which is which is why I was like, I'm trying to, I was trying to position my Baltaim wouldn't have known that she could, you know, flip, you know, go to a different. Yeah, you, you know, tried to counterspell it. her, but unfortunately, yeah. a theory it wasn't this is a, it was an ability <laughs> yeah. and not a, a yeah. and not a uh, spell. spell. Um, yeah. and, I, and I was waiting for the the reason I had the the initiative go one more turn was I wanted to see if anyone had anything for like see invisibility like or, seven. or oh, yeah, yeah um, I think see invisibility allows you to see into the ethereal plane. Ethereal plane, it does. Yeah. yeah. So I wanted to see if anyone had anything that could potentially at least see her. That would allow Baltaim to then counter, like someone to counter spell her if she was trying to plane shift away. But unfortunately, they just um, they, they did, did not. Anything, and, and so she got away. My no my laughter at the, my laughter at the end was <laughs> Dobby losing his dagger once more. <laughs> Dobby, poor Dobby, poor Dobby. He can't I, well, I shouldn't say it. poor Dobby, but <laughs> poor dagger. At some dad. point, when it keeps happening, you have to of, wonder. It's seen a lot of places. It's gone a lot. Of I was really surprised he threw it. I was like, "Okay, are you sure?" Um, and he was like, "Yeah, that's all I can do." And I was like, "Okay." <sighs> and he threw it into her, and it hit her. And I was like, "Okay, if it doesn't hit her, he'll be able to pick it up like later on. Mm -hmm. It'll like hit the wall or something like that." But it hit her, and it was stuck into her. So I was like, "Okay, well, this, is, this is going with her." Yeah. It's kind of funny when you think about how much those weapons mattered to him, and he really just kind of always Very willy was nilly with them. Yeah. them. Yep. Like these, he cared more about these than the magic gift from the god. Okay. <laughs> these sentimental word. value, kind of maybe. That's oh, for you. Amazing. Well, I mean, you'll get it back when you find the hack and killer and get the key. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, level 20 quest. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> right. And finally get that box open. Okay. Um, so, Jake, I have a question. So, do you have a little notebook full of things for Oriana to say for inspiration? Oh, yeah. I have a Google Doc. <laughs> you have a Google Doc. I have a Google Doc. How so long is this? How long is uh, it? Well, sadly, due to a uh, mishap with a app I was previously oh, using, no. uh, a bunch of the uh, like episode one through twenty-ish ones all disappeared. So those are gone forever. Um, Just rewatch yeah, back I... over, cop right, rewrite them down. Oh, I'm not. I don't, you think I got time for that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, it's it's about like a page and a half, I think, of um, unused phrases. Yeah, chants, stuff like that. Yeah, cool. Um, yeah, so this is a, actually a pretty good fight for Oriana. She got to melt the eyeballs out of a hag with her sick burns. That was pretty cool. That was uh, completely unexpected, and I think my probably one of my first out, you know, kills. I don't know. I think you killed some of them before. I don't remember. I, well, I've killed like low level things, I think, but never like, you know, how from do you big. finish it? Or I forget. Yeah, how, yeah. I think, how that's, does yeah, DM probably, I think that's one of your, yeah, your first. How do you want to do this? Your first scene kill. Yeah. yeah. Except Serenity doesn't say, how do you want to do this? Sometimes, <laughs> I do. sometimes I say other things. She does sometimes. She does sometimes say that. <laughs> Look, it's just standard now. It's not copying. Everyone does it. Anyway, um, yeah, so like, loves this fight, like, personally for Oriana. Like she got a pretty major kill. She did pretty good. The party did pretty good overall. Um yeah, I mean this this was probably a good confidence booster for her. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, she needs mostly that. because she 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 didn't get stuck as a heel bot. Um 
and a lot of the fights she ends up just healing wording every turn so all she can really do is you know vicious mockery uh and and healing word or stab something with her sword which i think she's done like once <laughs> um but uh yeah no this was a good one for her she didn't she was able to inspire um uh, I think she exclusively inspired Cynric, but she was yeah. able to inspire every turn pretty much. She was able to get off what she normally does. Um, she got a couple of really good uh, clutch fairy fires and uh, mm-hmm. dissonant whispers. Uh, yeah, this this was a good confidence booster for her. She she started starting to feel more like an adventurer. I think. Awesome, awesome. Let's see. What about Baltaim? Um... You didn't have the quite the big dramatic kill that Oriana did, but it's a good fight for you too, I think. How does he feel about what went uh, down in the Hag layer? I think he's uh, probably not disappointed, but just a little like frustrated. I guess what would be like mm-hmm. not even not even that, but like just like uh, didn't get the like finishing, like didn't like finish the, the like the job essentially, like didn't finish the task. So he's probably just a little bit more like you know frustrated we'll say uh with mm-hmm. that uh, more so but he's not he's he's whatever you know it doesn't really matter to him like if he kills the thing or if um you know if uh he does a lot Someone else gets it, yeah. He, yeah he's he's mostly there he's like well i'm just trying to make sure that whatever task we're set for ourselves is to be completed um and if that means you know sometimes he'll uh uh, healing hand someone that's down because no one else is around so he's like okay we need you to you know get up so you can help everyone else out so or if it's to you know try to fear things uh whatever needs to be done he's like well that's what i'm going to do to make sure that uh we get the the w mm-hmm. he feels yeah, like the, the right now player. we have the incomplete he's like we're in the incomplete <laughs> right now uh so he's raring to go after that last hag get the full get closure some sleep first yeah. Yeah, well, I think this is see. like the second time I think in recent memory that you've been going into a combat with exhaustion. Yeah. Were you exhausted in the desert? Yeah, yeah I was. Yeah. They were all they were all exhausted in the desert though. Yeah. That was because they all fa- they failed the skill challenge there. Yeah. It's becoming a theme. You're just all real tired. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no this rest was the first the time they had two points of exhaustion though. No, mm-hmm. oh, oh, yeah, but Dobby, no, not Dobby, Dobby, though. Dobby had two the whole that desert time, too. Cause he, oh, yeah, because he didn't <laughs> sleep. That's right. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. But yeah, this is the first time I've had two. But. Sometimes. Yeah, I gotta say, um, so after that fight, I was a little bit disappointed that you guys didn't try to cut like the floor around the chest and put the I whole said thing we in could. <laughs> that was fun. I said we could, but. Practically, that's probably not possible. Yeah, I'm not sure how you would have done it, but it would have been really fun to watch you try. We were getting late in the episode there, and I was like trying to like herd them along because it was. You're like, please, this is gonna take like half an hour. Yeah, and I was like, well, I I let them, I let them try to like do. I was like, okay, you know, it's a magical. I honestly thought that when uh, Jake had asked Perry to to do the. the spell magic. Oh, don't I remind thought, me. Don't I remind he, me. I was like, I was like, yes. I'm like, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, he's gonna like inspire her. I was like, oh, don't remind and, me. And she did. I was like, oh, wait, did you mean to do something? I was like, oh, well. Back up there, guys. Me until so much later that I could have done <laughs> I know. it. You're like, so you're like annoyed. And I tell you, you're like, oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I, I said inspire, couldn't I? I was like, yeah, you could have. Yeah, she was only one off on one of them, wasn't she? To be fair, I, I don't think of that as a check half the time. Hey, but it, it is, though. Just happened. So yeah, the first yeah. time, we, I mean, we didn't know. So Right. That's why, that's why I was like, I was like, oh, he's like, he's like, I'm like, I was like, oh, he got why. Like, I understand why he's like acting fairy to redo it. I'm like, he's in there. I got it. And I'm like, he's like, oh, never mind. I th- <laughs> she probably, I mean, she rolled not to throw shade. Uh, but I think she rolled so low on that one. I, I think outside right, of an yeah. out of eight, it been, I don't know yeah. if it would have even worked. Yeah. But, yeah, but the DC first like one, she was one below the required yeah. level, which is a six. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah that kind of sucks. But hey. Yeah, I got to go we, back. But... We can go back. Mm-hmm. Maybe. Good. And maybe it'll be there. Maybe. <laughs> the hag so... comes back, it's like, give me my shit, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, what do you think is the next step for your party after this? Are you going to go try and go out to the hag, get the key, get Dobby's little knifey back, his poor knife? I think, 
I think we think, I mean, I don't know what we think, but I don't, I think that hag is fucking gone. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I think we're going to, I think the day after is the meeting. The next day is the meeting with the, or a potential meeting with the emperor, possibly if we can get mm-hmm. it. Um, I think so. We're gonna see. I guess I want to. I'm gonna see how that night goes. If there's no more troubles, I think we'll kind of see how we can fix the ending of the effects. But I think after that, if there's nothing left further with that, I think we might just uh, let that go and focus focus on Quinn's thing and finally get to the desert. Uh, to the ocean. Gotcha. That's reasonable. We'll see you next time. Okay. Um, and with that, we're going to move on to our topic for today, which is puzzles and riddles and traps. All the funnest stuff in D&D. So to start things off, I have a riddle for all of you. Oh, no. Okay. Please, no. Riddle, me, riddle this. me this. I am older than everything you have ever known. But last week, I was brand new. What am I? Okay, I have an answer for this. I know you do because you read. It. Yeah, I read it. I read it, um, and I've been thinking about it. I'm going to say the moon. That's right, <laughs> but okay. you did cheat. I didn't. You did. You read it before the show. Okay. I, 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 no, I didn't read it before. The, no, I read it just now, like while we were okay. in the document. So I've had like had an help. extra thirty seconds from these guys to 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 know. So it, but... basically, you cheated. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's okay, you're, just jealous, my you're just jealous because so I'm actually good at this shit. Yeah, you're good at puzzles. Got it. Okay. That, I mean, that's better than my answer. My answer was going to be time because time is. I was going to say a new day, which is, I guess, is kind of. Oh man, you yeah, yeah, suck. I, yeah, but I specified last week and last Tuesday was a new moon. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, but so yeah. Th- so I was thinking of that. Like I was thinking about it for a little bit, and I was like, hmm, "What is this?" And then I was like, "Oh, brand last week I was brand new." I was like, "Oh, it has to be new moon." Mm-hmm. Love it. Smart. Love it. Love riddles. Yeah. I'd be so good at them. Give me riddles. <laughs> I only have the one. Give me riddles. Yeah. yeah. No, I remember like whenever I gave you a riddle, I think I only gave you like one riddle in my um in I my game way back right. when, but you got it right away. I was like, <laughs> oh, I thought you were gonna take like five minutes to think about it. Okay, okay, you get through. <laughs> um you get I like know all door. the classic riddles, but that's about it. Everything else, like I uh-huh. have to look up. Well, you can't use the classic well, riddles in D and D. Yeah, exactly. You can't use the, the easy ones. Yeah. Uh, gotta have brain teasers. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so I do. Puzzles. I do have a good one. Ooh, I don't, I'm, I'm, no, I'm gonna save it. Save I'm gonna it. save yeah. it for my oh, campaign. Okay. Save it. Save Sad. it. <laughs> Sad. Okay. So, um, first question: How does everyone feel about puzzles as a player? Like, what's your favorite kind of puzzles? Riddles? I know Serenity loves them. Logic puzzles. Physics puzzles. Dangerous traps. What do you like to see? Well, I like puzzles that are easy to solve. <laughs> Fuck that noise. No nope. answer. Nope. That's the wrong answer. I love puzzles. Yeah, I um I think like I I will say this. I fucking hate combat. Um I only do it because like it's a part of the game and like there are so many abilities that you get as a character that you kind of just want to try out and like mm-hmm. and battles have their purpose, but I they take so much time and there's just so much back and forth and it's just like, okay. Then you got to like, you know, sometimes you got to think about what you want to do and like, depending on like how the battle is shifted, like what you originally wanted to do is now like not what you want to do. And you got to puzzles though. I find them so much fun. Um, There's something that's collaborative often with the entire group. Um, You can like have fun with it. Um, And it's something that like, I feel like, anyone can be good at you know like when you choose a class in a game like sometimes you're choosing to be the more support class or you're choosing to be the not the frontliner and so you're not getting all the kills you're not doing all of that but like i feel like a puzzle is something where you can like you can still shine even if you're not the like fighter or the barbarian or you know whatever so i love them yeah i i hate i i'm in agreement with what uh what serenity is saying uh I hate like the normal like combat you usually see, like with like like again like the face up fights. Like we're in an open field and it's two people and six people <laughs> are fighting. Like we're gonna win this fight. Like okay, even if no matter like uh, of level six, you know level twenty party like six six low twenties against a terras, that terras is going to die. It just might take fucking forever for it to die, mm-hmm. but it's going to die. It's not gonna be like oh, 
who's gonna win? Like, no, <laughs> like this level six, <laughs> like six of the level twenty characters are gonna like kick this harass ass eventually. But like, I like, yeah, I like, I like when combat has like puzzles in it too to make it more tactical and stuff. Yeah, it's a fun, um, yeah. But I do like a good rousing puzzle. Rousing puzzle. Yeah, good old, good old rousing puzzle, gents. I've always been a fan of. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I so I've always been a fan of the the impossibly hard combats that are made easy. Well, not easy, but more easily accomplished uh, through puzzles. Um, you know, you think back to uh, Critical Role. That's a lot of great examples, but not to name drop another stream. Um, but like you know, the key weakness of the enemy is answered by this puzzle and you know you answer the puzzle in the middle of the combat and you know, the secret is revealed you know oh it's a silver dagger oh i have a silver dagger <laughs> you know something yeah. like that um as a as a person my favorite types of puzzles are usually like math puzzles like sudoku's because it's just <laughs> doing math but <laughs> uh, uh fantasy sudoku yeah pretty much yeah, I do like, um, I actually don't mind stray combat. I'm weird like that. I'll, I'm happy to just like wait my turn and be like, okay, I'm going to do 40 damage this turn. It's fine. Um, <laughs> but I do really enjoy it when they're, when like DMs put in the effort to make combats that like give you the opportunity to be creative and do weird shit, which will make the combat go in weird ways. I know that's really hard to run because I've done it, um, but it's like, it's so fun to play. Anyway, um, so uh, jumping off of that, what usually goes into designing puzzles as a DM for your players? Pain, lots of pain. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, pain. <laughs> oh, I have so much fun with it. Um, for, yeah. yeah. I'll I, I f oh, I'll I say, oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Jake. Oh. I feel like puzzles are honestly harder to balance than combat. <clears throat> Um, if a combat's too easy, I mean, at least there's resources spended and the group has to figure out what that means for them, depending on where they are or if they think there's going to be more combats in the future. But if you make a puzzle that's too easy and, you know, nothing really is lost or gained from it, then it just kind of feels like, well, what was the point? Um... Whenever I've put puzzles in, I always feel like it's either far too too easy of, oh, they get it right off the bat. Okay, whatever. Or it's <laughs> so complicated that they just ignore it. And I find that sort of balancing act hard to find. Yeah, I would that's say that's the, that's why I say it's, it's, a, it's a difficult because it's sometimes you're like, oh, this is a really fucking cool ass puzzle. And it's like, but like to you, it's a cool ass puzzle. But you're like, it might be like, like making it a little bit more complex than it probably, you know, that they like people will understand. You're like, oh, I they didn't like get that at all. It's like now you're just in this room with like this puzzle, and you're like, for four hours, and you're like, uh, can we just like blow up the wall? Like, can we, like, can we just fight this dragon thing? I don't want to fuck with this this tea. This no, mm. no, no, no. So that's 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 my like, you know, kind of like you have to find the right balance of like is this a little bit too out there to like not get or is it too uh, yeah is it too easy so it's like oh it's a rabbit in a hat got it done i don't know i all the puzzles that i've given on stream have been like the perfect amount of time wasted or spent <laughs> trying to figure it out um from the very first one in the sewer where you guys were like what do we do let's let's search the statue let's do all this stuff and then right, it was like yeah. putting your hand in the, the, the gauntlet and just following the gesture, um, yeah. which you eventually figured out. Um, but it's like that suspense of like having that happen or um, <clears throat> I mean, like even the, the, the mysteries that I've had you guys go on are kind of like a puzzle in themselves. It's like figuring yeah. that out. And so it, uh, I think it's just knowing your players um, and knowing kind of what they can handle and what is going to entertain them um and so like even the the fight in 
uh, in the mountains in Avonhurst. That was a puzzle in itself. You guys fighting against one another and figuring it out and realizing what you needed to do. Um, and that took you guys a while too, but like it was an interesting sort of play on, on combat. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, I think it's just um, knowing the players and knowing who's comfortable with what, and then just finding the right thing. But I, I love putting them in um, and using them in various interesting ways. Um, I never have, I never have issues designing a, a puzzle. <laughs> Sorry, it's like, I don't know, I'm just a natural, you know? I just, I, I just love just doing them because I love puzzles. I love doing them myself, you know? Like, I love riddles. Yeah, yeah. I love that stuff. And so I just kind of think of, like, oh, what would be, like, super entertaining? And then what would be fun to watch people scramble over? Like, I think the one in Ava the Hearst where you had to, like, prick your finger and everyone was like, I don't want to do this. I don't, like, it's just wa fun watching, like... Sometimes it is the most the simplest answer, right? Um, and, That's and not it's like, true. Baltane was 100% down and was like, immediately was like, Yeah, but the oh, rest yeah, of the group pulls yeah, you back, yeah. is what I'm saying. Uh, like, it's interesting to watch the dynamic of people thinking, right, like, right, yeah, it yeah. can't be this easy. It, it's, there's got to be something else to it. There's got to be something like, that's no. going to, like, we're going to get dragged to hell or, like, some beast is going to show up <laughs> or, or it's going to curse us or whatever. And so I, I love having that dichotomy. And sometimes it is. Sometimes there is something more to it, you know, something, there is a trap with yeah. it. But sometimes it is just the simplest thing. And I think it's like sh switching that up with your players is, is uh, super fun. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So when you guys are designing puzzles, do you always have like multiple ways to solve it? Like, is there something you can do if the players get stuck and it drags on too long? For, for like dungeon puzzles, mm -hmm. I'm weird. I don't have a solution to my dungeon puzzles. Oh, you, you're one of those. <laughs> yeah. Like if you think of a cool idea, that's like, I'm like, no, that would work. I was like, yeah, that works. But like, I have, I have like, I, I think about like, this is how I would do it. And like, that's how it could be solved. But if it's like, oh, I'm going to do this, this and this, I'm like, all right, yeah, I see that happening. Yeah, sure. And, but if it's like something that's like, you're just throwing things at the wall, you're like, this is not like, that's not going to work. No. But like, I mean, but there are some, I mean, I do have some things that's like, oh no, this is, you know, straightforward. So it is solvable. Like, easily by something but like for like major things that are like like weird like contraptions in a dungeon if you're like messing around I'm like no you like you make something that's interesting and cool that would make sense to fix like to solve this puzzle I would like make that see that work I mean I I usually make solutions to my puzzles but what I will do is if the party comes up with a creative workaround to the puzzle, I will more than, I would be more than happy to allow it. Um, the only exception I've ever made in that is if it's like, you know, a wizard's tower and you're like, well, I'm going to use this common spell to circumvent this trap. And it's like, okay, well, the wizard who made this trap would know about this spell you can certainly try. Oh, look, you can't alter gravity in here because of blah, 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 blah. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, I, I always, I mean, I'm always open to certain things. It depends on the type of, I guess it really, like, it's like what Balt, um, sorry, what Khalil, I'm, I'm so used to using everyone. Khalil, yeah. It's so, it's, so um, <clears throat> it's very similar to what Khalil said. Like, there are puzzles where it's like, you have to kind of answer the, like, it's a riddle. You answer the riddle right. one way or another. Like, sure, you can blow the thing up and then maybe the trap doesn't go off, but maybe you also don't get the treasure. So like you, like there is always multiple ways to do things. It's just the question of what, what's the consequence of you not going through with it that way. But then if it's like traps or something like that, or like, a, like, yeah, contraptions, I think like I, even in the sewer, they had that like interesting idea to like shove a dagger into the mechanism and they got like a nat 20 on it. And I was like, yeah, okay, that, that would work. Okay, that works. That's like super smart, right? Um, <clears throat> so, so yeah, I'm, I'm totally open to that. Or like, oh, you know, this floor like has weird pressure plates and you have to figure it out. And the, the wizard's just like, oh, I just dimension door across. Okay. I mean, you used a fourth level spell to do that. So right. you should be rewarded for that. That's one resource down of yours that you you circumvented a trap, but you also paid for it. So yeah. for me, I'm totally open for that stuff. But if it's like, yeah, like if you're asked a riddle or if you're if you have a, a puzzle yeah. to, to open a chest or or to get into a vault or something like that, and you're just like, oh, well, you know, I'm just going to like blow everything up. It's like, 
well, that's probably like, trying to brute force that probably won't work in the way that you want it to. Um, and you're, it might not harm you, but you just might not get through. Um, so it, it just depends on, on the puzzle and what's, what's being done. And if it's just, if you're just trying to like throw spells at something or if you're actually being intelligent or like, you mm-hmm. know, um, if you're thinking, yeah, if you're thinking about it and trying to do something cool. Awesome. Um, so do you guys ever like let your players roll for hints or do you make them use their human brains? Um, if it goes really long, I start rolling for hints <laughs> <laughs> because at some point you're like, I'm not having fun just watching you all like, all right, uh, um, can I throw a rock at it? No? Okay. You can't. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Can't. Uh, it just doesn't do anything. It bounces yeah. off. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Like like after like you know after an hour I'm like okay uh, roll a history or intelligence check because like sometimes like there's also this thing where it's like you know your wizard is a smart character too so, like mm-hmm. in the, your, as a character your wizard's smart so as a character your character should be smart and I want to reward that if you're a, a intelligent character so it's like well okay hey wizard you notice because of your high intelligence that something on the wall is as when you threw when someone threw something at something on the wall glimmered like for a second or the or whoever is most perceptive you would notice that something on the wall glimmered for a second uh for a while ago and like oh and that kind of gives you like on the track of what that is and kind of mm-hmm. pushes it along a little bit better because it is sometimes it's hard when that person may not be a puzzle person but that character necessarily would have the skills itself to be able to solve that thing so it's like at a certain point yeah, kind of like, okay, let's not, not fast track it, but let's get you a little bit on the right mm-hmm. path. For me, it depends on the type of puzzle. If this was not meant to be something to hold you for more than, you know, five to ten minutes in actual play time, then, yeah, I'll give a hint to the person who has the highest perception or the highest intelligence, depending on uh what's going on and what how well of a check they make but if this is like you know the main quest is behind this door and you have to solve this puzzle and they're not getting it i might say well you know so and so back in the other city or you know i I might give them a quest to get the answer if it was something massively important to the story um but I, I, I would be hesitant to just give a hint if this is something that they should earn, more or less. If this is something that, yeah, you should know this already, there's no real stakes on the line, here's, here's a hint, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I, I think Serenity did it perfectly with the riddle with the Ifridi, uh, or the Ifrit. I, I never know how to pronounce them. Um, it's free, I think. Yeah. yeah. The, the fact that she didn't let me make a check for it because yeah, it's, it's a very crucial uh, challenge and that, you know, it, it's really something I should probably know considering it's what we were doing, <laughs> um, then I wouldn't give a hint. Yeah. I think it, I think it depends. Um, I agree with both, like, uh, Khalil and Jake. I, I think it it really depends on the the situation. Um, you don't you never want your players to just flounder forever, um, and you want the you want the game to keep moving. Um, I generally, if I see if I see uh, the group, it, it, like depending on what it is. Again, like if you're given a riddle, you're given a riddle. You're not going to get a hint. The person's giving yeah. you a riddle. You either answer it or you don't answer it. And if you don't yeah. answer it, you got it wrong and then you don't get whatever it is or you have to pay the price or whatnot. If it's like a puzzle room and your initial perception check was really shit and you're spending like, and then that hint that you didn't get because that perception check was so bad, um, you didn't see it. And then you're trying to solve it with like half the information. Um mm-hmm. Eventually, I like I will be like, okay, someone else make another perception. It's a similar to like what I did with the 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 sanguine dreams. I let them make a history check on or an intelligence check, and gave them the hint that Lex is there. Like you can you can use that if you want. It's up to you. Um, and so, 
I think that that's fair to to give to your players in certain situations. But I think that there's also certain situations where the stakes are you entered into this. You made this choice, not knowing what it was or kind of knowing a little bit of what this would be. Now you you have to you have to use your brain to figure it out. And if you don't like you have to deal with whatever comes of you like either walking away or or making the like speaking the wrong answer or doing doing the wrong thing. So I think I think it just depends, but I think you can make it exciting around all of those things. It's more just as long as you keep things moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep things moving. Can't let out. And also, like a game can stall in a million different ways. So it's not just puzzles that you need to watch out for. Exactly. Pacing is important. Um, yeah. So have you guys ever like come across a puzzle as players that just really stuck with you, you thought was super fun? Or have you like made a puzzle that you thought was very clever? This is a place to brag if you want to. I can't. Because <laughs> it'll be in the game. <laughs> Oh, it's a future puzzle. Okay. It's coming okay. up very soon, actually. Ooh. Oh, no. So, um, something for you guys. Well, maybe. To. I don't know. I mean, with this group, they, they might just go in a complete <laughs> opposite the other direction, direction. And then I'm just like, okay, I well, guess I'll have to find have another place puzzle. to put this. Um, I but I, this is like one of the things where I am, I am, I am proud of myself i am pleased with my i'm pleased as punch with myself um i, I think with i did a really, really probably good. Gonna, probably gonna be like nah fuck that whatever guys let's i know let's and they're just gonna like you just see like a tear um, I, I spent eye, actually like, i think on this one i spent like a weekend like uh doing oh, wow. and um and i think like the way that i molded it together is very very interesting and i think they'll i think they'll really enjoy it but but yeah, I can't, I can't say what it is, but maybe in a future episode, I'll talk about it if they go through with it. So. Awesome. Excited for that. Think of a puzzle. I'm always worried when, sh when our DM is excited for something. Hey, you'll have fun. Don't worry. It'll be great. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I, I really, I liked the simplicity of that one sewer puzzle with the floating rocks. And if they form the words, and it was just what are what are these two things? And we just had to say it out loud. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out the pattern. And then I think it was Baltaim actually just oh, it's light and darkness. <laughs> um, man. Um, I don't know. I've had some fun puzzles. I don't know if one sticks out particularly for me uh a, I remember I, I know like I remember like there's a I've done like I've seen like a time like a clock based puzzle mm -hmm. uh, like where this period where it, like the positioning of the sun and stuff like that like the to like pair certain pillars around like a the shape of a clock um I felt, oh, like a sundial puzzle that's yeah cool. essentially yeah um I felt like a, a night hag puzzle which was kind of interesting so it's that's a fun puzzle. I think those probably two are probably the ones that kind of stick out to me. I think the most, maybe. I think the the ones that stick out the most to me are not even necessarily puzzle puzzles. I like to put a lot of role playing puzzles where it's mm -hmm. less of here's a puzzle, solve it, and more of here's some hints about a character's backstory or something like that, and letting the players kind of solve that in order to achieve something down the line. Like I did it for um, Serenity in our Wednesday game um, where she was looking to find somebody who could train her to be uh, observant because I was allowing feet training. Not anymore because you guys broke the <laughs> heck out of that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I gave her I gave her a name of a character that I knew would come up at some point. And so mad too. <laughs> How many feet did you manage to get out of him before he was one, like no one. more? Just one. Uh, well, no, okay. I'm getting two. I'm getting two because I I'm doing tough, but but yeah. um, but it, I was going to do that instead of tough, and and the character that that I learned about is like off in the frost wheel, and I was like, when are we ever? We had just come from where there. We had literally just come from there. I was like, when are we ever going to go back there again? Great. Okay. Well, this is not happening. And now he's traveling with fucking Alora. <laughs> bitch. I think in this game, uh, the fucking the the choice, the uh, uh. the like the. Fighting each, I've never seen. 
I've never had fighting on that, like player player fighting mm-hmm. and that type of like like puzzle like oh that that's what happened and like the the lead up to that I think that's probably the thing that's stuck with me in this in this campaign and I probably will probably remember that for the rest of the campaign because I, I was like oh I was like I guess when, when someone I think I think it was either uh, uh, Chad or or uh, Freckle who are or take. Yeah, sorry. Uh, yeah, that sorry. had mentioned it. I mentioned like, are we fighting each other? I was like, oh, yeah. fuck. <laughs> I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, there is. Oh, yes. Yeah. I was like, fuck. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that, that was, was a really like, fun puzzle. Yeah, that was probably the most like cool, like interesting, like play on that I've ever seen of like fighting other and like that that build up has was probably mm-hmm. the coolest thing I've seen. I uh, I like that puzzle too. Just be- just because. As a player, I could kind of see what she was trying to do, so I had an mm-hmm. idea of it. But since I didn't know in character, I got to kind of play it out and see, like, okay, let, let's test the theory. Let's test the theory. See what happens when I do this. Yeah, it was like really that, cool, though. I, I love that idea, though. That it's like it's a relatively easy puzzle for the player to solve, but not the character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then once I figured it out, I was like, oh no, boss team's gonna fucking have fun with this. It's like I'm gonna shoot it just to figure out, like. Just to make sure, let me shoot it. Let me shoot someone else again. I'm like, yeah, he's not like, he's not that bright. He's like, ah, oh, I gotta double check. <laughs> Hold on. Just in case, you know. Pew. Just in case. Just in case. I mean, that's how it goes. That was the um, that was like one of the things that we talked about, like integrating combat into puzzles. That's making combat yeah. into a puzzle, which is very cool and giving it real stakes because you guys were, I mean, you weren't that high level back then, but you were still pretty powerful characters, so you could have done real damage to each other if yeah, you had right figured it out. Yeah, that was right before the dragon fight, and if we had yeah. conquered out before that, that dragon fight would have been even worse. Yeah. <laughs> I do like so, that you say we weren't that high level. That was literally right before we leveled to our current level. Was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're only four. level five. Yeah, you're level four. Oh, uh, it seems so long. We got ago, level I five think. right after the dragon. Huh. I, I, I think we're due for one actually. Who said yeah, that? I thought, I thought you were level six already. Don't no. poke that bear. Not yet. Don't poke Not yet. That bear. We haven't uh, leveled. Don't poke that bear. Well, once you get your you can poke it. key, yeah. you get. <laughs> Actually, you guys level down to level four. Yeah, yeah. Anger Burr. <laughs> you guys level down. You guys suck that much. You lose skill. Yeah, goes Burr. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Um. So, like, when you guys do, you guys like fully homebrew all your puzzles, or do you occasionally like get inspiration from like Reddit or the um, books or anything like that? Oh, I'll steal a puzzle if I like it enough. I'll steal it. Yeah, I mean. I mean, some of the, like, if, if I'm, like, intentional, like, oh, this is not supposed to be easy, and it's, like, something that's, like, I mean, it's not supposed to be hard, sorry, uh, and it's, like, you know, it's just going to be, like, a like you're in, like, a dungeon, and it's, like, one of a little, like, every piece of a dungeon is, like, oh, yeah, it's a puzzle that's not super hard, so I don't uh-huh. know. I'm, like, okay, I like that idea. I'll put that in there, but I might have, like, you know, I'll probably have something that I've done, too, in there, but, you know, if it's supposed to be easy, like, a little, like, 10-minute distraction, it's, like, I might, you know, take whatever I see. So I'm like, oh, this trap. I'm like, okay, but that is like not supposed to be really hard. So, um, so I'm an engineer, IRL, mm-hmm. uh, and so our whole motto is don't reinvent the wheel. Um, what I do do though is like though really the only things that I that I take verbatim is maybe like a riddle. I like I'll generally like mm-hmm. find that. And I'll be like, oh, this is an interesting one. And this shouldn't be too hard, but it shouldn't be too easy. And those are like hard to kind of like, I'm terrible at like making those up on my own. So I'll often just like yeah. source, source those. But like, for instance, the the Avonhurst thing uh, was actually, I think I read it in like an article. It was, it was something completely different um, that I was reading and it just like sparked an idea in my head. So it was like kind of a play off of something else. And that's generally how most of my puzzles have been. It's been like, oh, I'll read something like a, an online resource because I'm always online, like reading resources for D&D for like how to make my dungeons interesting or how to like make mm-hmm. a quest interesting. And then like even these murder mysteries completely taken from like online stuff and then just molded into my own story and changed slightly. Um, like this most recent one was like, how do you do a quest in a city? And it was like, oh, 
have like a drug ring or something like that. And I was like, okay, how do I make this into like now like this, this mystery? Um, and, and I was like, okay, now I'm just going to like mold it and change it for myself. So that's generally how I do it is like, I never, it's hard to make something completely from scratch. Cause there's, mm-hmm. someone's always done something. It's really hard to be completely, uh, innovative. Uh, but there's always ways that you can kind of twist it so that you can't just like look it up online and be like, oh yeah, yeah this is, this is exactly what this is. Yeah. I mean, dandy is a lot like using media that you've expressed or exactly. seen and reworking it to your, yeah. Like, how it fits to you and your style so i mean that's kind of yeah it's i mean characters are made like the way i i i guarantee none of our characters are original at all so like like there's like pieces that you just absorb from just media yeah, it's taken in general. From it's something like, in your life. you're like oh okay i like that i want it so like, yeah yeah all art is theft and yeah. that's our time that's how we'll end thank you guys for watching thank you to serenity khalil and jake for joining me today talking about puzzles in the last game i believe there's no game this friday yeah so we're off uh this coming week and uh what's the damage will also be off on the first and then we will be back uh just before the long weekend hits on september 4th Mm-hmm. Yep. So no game on Friday. No what's the damage on Tuesday. I know you're really sad about that. You can um you can like kind of mop up your tears with a nice shirt from our from our store, maybe. The link is up. Uh, link is up now. Uh, <laughs> it's link under is our donation. Up. It's under our donation panel because I don't have a good place to put it right now, but we will have a mm-hmm. banner soon enough. Awesome. Really excited for all that. Hoping uh, I'll probably get what's the damage here so I can wear it on this. quite absorbent for your tears. So that yeah, very be absorbent. Like pure tri blend, kind. man. Get that tri blend. blend. Uh. Absolutely. Um, anyway, thank you. Uh, stick around for resources after um, after this show, during our end credits. And we will not see you next week, but we'll see you the week afterward. Goodbye, guys. See ya. Have a Bye. good day.